Hi, welcome back to another video. There are two types of exercises you can do, isometric and dynamic. The main difference between the two is that one requires movement, whereas one is static. When doing a dynamic exercise, your muscles go through a series of shortening and lengthening under tension as you complete the movement for the set amount of repetitions. When doing an isometric exercise, one position is held for a specific amount of time, during which your muscles are continuously under tension. Well, I'm sharing with you in this video 15 great isometric exercises for building a six-pack app and how to enhance your core strength and stability. If you like this video, please click the like button, please leave your comments below and share this video. Hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of my future weekly video release. And please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. When someone performs an isometric exercise in a busy gym, it looks very out of place. Simply holding a position, like the plank, can look pretty easy. And in the first few seconds of performing an isometric exercise, you might start to wonder if it is doing you any good at all. Then the shaking starts, the burning feeling in your muscles begins to grow. You now realize the potency of isometric exercises. In fact, regular isometric training will increase your strength and core stability. And there are mental benefits to it as well, because it takes a lot of willpower to hold a challenging position for a long period, while your muscles scream at you to let it go. Now I know what you're going to ask. Which exercise is better? The answer is neither. They are very different. The best approach is to perform a combination of two types of exercises throughout your weekly workout regime. Research has shown that isometric training can be beneficial in producing strength gains. The static nature of isometric exercises can be especially useful to those who have limited range of movement, as they only need to be in a single position. The point is, if you're looking to get six-pack abs, a flat stomach, and a V-shaped waistline, then you want to make sure that you're focusing on isometric abdominal contractions. We're trying to work on all these muscles. The rectus abdominis, your six-pack muscles. Transversus abdominis, the muscle that pull in the stomach, keeping it flat. Obliques, V-shaped muscles tapering the waistline, the so-called love handles. Now remember, you don't want bigger abdominal muscles that only lead to an unwanted bigger waist. Instead, your goals are strength and better definition in the core midsection. Because isometric exercises focus on building strength and definition without building bulk, they are perfect for high quality abs workout. But remember, you also have to combine a great isometric routine with a good diet. If you want your abs to show, you have to have low body fat percentage and that means combining a good quality diet with a strong workouts routine. I'm now going to demonstrate 15 great isometric workouts for your core and abs. Try to hold each contraction for 15 to 30 seconds and then progress to at least 1 minute. The hollow hold is an isometric core exercise that strengthens the abdominal muscles that stabilize your spine. Start lying on your back with your arms extended overhead on the floor and legs straight resting on the mat. At the same time, and with control, lift your arms, head, shoulder blades and legs off the floor. Hold for 15 to 30 seconds and then return to the starting position. Rest for 10 seconds and then repeat for another four repetitions. Hollow holds train your abdominal bracing skill, the act of stabilizing your lower spine by contracting your abdominal muscles. Sit upright on the ground with your legs extended in front of you and your arms by your sides. Lean back slightly and raise your legs from the floor. Start with bent knees and progress to straight legs. Squeeze through your abs and try to close the distance between your stomach and your thighs. Try not to round your spine and maintain perfect straight alignment in your body. The V-seat challenges you to balance on your sit bones in an upright V position and it's a great way to improve strength but it's also a terrific exercise for balance, flexibility and spinal mobility. Lie on the floor with your legs extended in front of you and your arms by your sides. Lift your head, shoulder blades off the floor and raise your legs from the floor. Keeping your lower back on the floor, engage your core and try reaching your hands forward between the split legs. Hold this position for 15 to 30 seconds. Rest and then repeat for a couple more times. Start in mountain pose, jump or step your legs apart. Extend your arms into a T position. 
with your palms facing down. Turn your left foot out to 90 degrees and turn your right foot slightly inwards. Bend your left knee to 90 degree angle with your left thigh parallel to the floor. Now lean towards your left knee, hinging at the hip to bring your left arm towards the floor or yoga block if you can't touch the floor. Now reach your right arm up over your right ear, palm facing the floor. Breathe freely in this pose and stay for 30 to 60 seconds. As you inhale, bring your torso up and straighten the left leg and then switch sides. The extended side angle pose is all about extension in your arms, your legs and your stance. In this pose, you will feel a stretch from the outer heel of your foot to your fingertips. Your oblique muscles are worked while the ribcage opens, encouraging you to breathe even deeper. For the half moon pose, stand with your feet together. Jump or step your legs wide apart and extend your arms out to a T position. Turn your left foot slightly inward and your right foot out to 90 degree. Exhale, lift your left leg up and lift your torso to the right side, bringing your right hand to the floor. Extend your left hand up. The half moon pose can help you to develop strong legs and open hips. The standing leg is strengthened as it bears the weight of the body. Meanwhile, the raised leg must work to stay suspended and parallel to the floor. This is a great isometric exercise for core strength, core stability and balance. Stay in this position for 10 to 15 seconds and then switch side. The bear plank is another great core strengthening exercise. Begin on your hands and knees. Press your hands into the ground and activate your shoulder and chest muscles. Engage your glutes to slightly tuck your tailbone. Contract your abdominals by taking a full breath and drawing them in as if you are bracing for a punch. Lift your knees up about one inch so that they are hovering just above the ground. Keeping your chin and head in a neutral position with your eyes fixed on the floor directly beneath your head. Breathe in and out in a controlled manner while maintaining your brace. Your lower and mid back should be slightly rounded. Avoid arching your back. Hold this position for about 15 to 30 seconds. As you practice this exercise, work to hold it for 3 sets of 60 seconds. To do the Superman exercise, lie on the floor in a prone position with your legs straight and your arms extended in front of you. Keeping your head in a neutral position, avoid looking up or hyperextending your neck. Slowly lift your arms and legs off the floor, feeling your lower back muscles contracting. Engage your glutes, your core and the muscles between your shoulder blades simultaneously. Hold this position for 10 seconds. Be sure that you are breathing the entire time. Lower your arms, legs and belly back to the floor. Repeat the exercise for 2-3 to three sets of 8-12 to 12 repetitions. It is important to lift only as far as your body feels comfortable. For the downward dog crunch, begin on your hands and knees. Lift your buttock up into a downward facing dog. Now extend your right leg up to a three legged dog. Now bring your right knee close to your right elbow. Hold this position for 15 seconds. Extend your right leg back up. Now extend your left leg up to a free leg dog. And bring your left knee close to your left elbow. And hold this position for 15 seconds. Next, wall sit or chair pose. For the wall sit, lean back a wall with your feet hip width apart. Lower your hips until they're level with your knees and there's a right angle at both hips and knees. Press your feet flat into the floor. Keep your back upright and flat and your head up throughout the hold. Hold the position for 15 to 30 seconds. Well, if you think the wall sit is too easy, try the chair pose, which has all the benefits of wall sits, but at the same time, challenge your balance and coordination. Stand in mountain pose. Inhale as you raise your arms overhead so that your biceps are just slightly in front of your ears. Exhale and bend your knees so that your thighs are as parallel to the floor as possible. Your knees will project out over your feet and your trunk will lean slightly forward 
over your thighs until your front torso forms approximately a right angle with the tops of your thighs. Keep your inner thighs together. Stay for 30 seconds to 1 minute. To come out of this pose, straighten your knees, bring your arms down to your sides, back to mountain pose. For the declined plank, from a standard plank position, step your feet onto a raised platform. As you get more comfortable with the declined plank, select a prop that is slightly higher. Hold for 30 seconds to 1 minute. The decline position makes the standard elbow plank much more challenging. Well, if you want to enhance the challenge even further, you can make this into a three-point plank. That is to remove one balance point. The move will resemble a horizontal yoga tree pose. Try to keep the body completely level without shifting to stable side. Hold for 30 seconds on the right side and 30 seconds on the left side. For the inclined glute raise, lie on your back and place your feet flat onto a raised step. This is more challenging than performing the basic glute bridge as your hips have a greater distance to travel. Raise your hips and hold. Focus on squeezing your glutes together and keeping your hips up. Having strong glutes and a strong core can help with the day-to-day -day activities that we do. The core and the glutes are key components in almost every compound movement that we do throughout the day. Both muscle groups are critical to your posture, lifting heavy items and even the way you walk down the street, which is why it is important to keep them strong. Side planks place a greater emphasis on your obliques. Start on your side with your weight on one elbow and legs together. Place your legs on a raised platform, engage your core and raise your hips. And hold this position without any hip sag. Start by doing 15 seconds on each side and then gradually increase the duration to at least 1 minute. If you wish to make the move more challenging, try resting both feet on a small gym ball. The side plank star, start with one hand and one foot on the floor. Raise your hips, keeping your core braced, then raise your top arm and leg as high as you can to form a star shape. Hold this position without falling over. Start by doing 15 seconds on each side, then gradually increase the time you spend in this hold, working each side equally. You can make this exercise more challenging by resting one foot on a gym ball. For the L-sit, with an overhand grip on some parallettes or two kettlebells, keep the legs tightly together as you lift them off the floor. Hold for 20 seconds, keep breathing, Building a defined triceps is your bonus for enduring the pain in this exercise. Finally, head balance. This is an incredible isometric core exercise, especially if you perform this away from the wall, as you have to have your core engaged throughout the exercise to prevent yourself from falling over. This is essentially an upside down elbow plank. Headstand is often referred to as the king of yoga poses. In the headstand, the body inverts to stand on the top of your head. It is tremendously beneficial to your body and mind. Thank you for watching until the end. If you like this video, please click the like button. Please subscribe, share and comment. Please also hit the bell so that you will be notified of any new future video release. If you are interested in improving your health and fitness, and if you want to prevent lower back pain, please take a look at my book which is now available from Amazon. Thank you.